Hello friends, uh, we continue to learn statistics, business statistics, and uh, today we are going to learn descriptive statistics. This is a central tendency. The data would be obtained, this is the empirical results of the data. Uh, all this data had their uh, central points. These central points always tell us something about the data. For instance, if you have a data about 10, 20, 30, 50,000 data, this data have an average point or kind of very uh, frequent point or central points. This central point, central tendency always help us to make a you know, conclusion about the data and therefore this measurement is very uh, essential and is very urgent in the statistics. As a central tendency, we learn mean, median and mode. Uh, these measurements are always the frequent and the most uh, important measurements in, in the descriptive statistics. Let's start with the mean. Okay. What's the mean? The, this is the arithmetic uh, and the arithmetic average point, the arithmetic mean, open just called the mean, is the most common measure of a central tendency. In, 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 in this formula, we have, uh, you know, x bar side, it's an x bar. What's the x bar? x bar is a pronounced as a x bar. This is a sample mean or uh, arithmetic mean. This is uh, this point uh, here. This is a sigma. Sigma is a kind of sum, uh, summation notation in, in uh, I, I mean, the Greek or Romanian uh, language. And this is n is a sample size. Uh, sample. So, how many sample do we have? If we have a data, for instance, this is data hour, and here we have a sample data, and it has an S n size. For instance, 10, 20, 30. Uh, imagine that you would like to tell about uh, city San Francisco. In San Francisco, how many people living there? And uh, you, you you take from there about you know, 18 years old, uh, you know, teenagers, and you would like to know their average. Uh, height uh, or average weight. So you take all of them, or maybe thousand of them, ten thousand of them. You sum up all of them and divide to the number of the observation size. And this is the observation number, observation size, and ice value. This is ice value uh, from where it starts. For instance, if we have a x and the inside of x, I have a x one, uh, x two, okay, and. Uh, xn it start from 1 we say e start from 1 up to the n okay n sample size we have okay guys let's look at a little example imagine that we have a x uh, x have a kind of data for instance 2 uh, 3 okay 5 data we have uh, if we would like to find the uh, you know mean uh, mean of this data or arithmetic mean of this data how we can uh, find it remember the the formula this formula said that sum up all the numbers xi divided by n this is the size of the n uh, it start from i 1 to 4 n uh, we can measure the uh, arithmetic mean how we can open this uh, formula we can take you know x1 plus x2 plus uh, all the numbers plus xn divided by n in our case n is uh, equal to 1 2 3 4 5 numbers here and the x1 x2 x3 4 and 5 all of them are uh, known now let's take this x bar is equal to all the numbers we sum up for instance 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 all this data we sum up okay and divide to what 2 5 okay 2 plus 3 4 into 28 and 28 divided by 5 it's equal to 5.6 okay our arithmetic mean is 5.6 you can take uh, you can try uh, another example and uh, easily to uh, calculate uh, any mean okay we try one example how to calculate the mean value and here uh, let's uh, look at the uh, another uh, you know kind of characteristics of a mean the first uh, the most common measure of a central tendency this is a mean and a mean is the sum of values divided by number of values we check this in our example and in our formula and affected by extreme value what is the extreme value to understand this uh, you know 
notation with the extreme value uh, imagine that we have here yeah, we have a five person okay the person one okay x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 these five people okay everyone has its uh, salary okay let me take this one okay the first one has a thousand five hundred uh you know every month okay the second one is a two thousand one has a one thousand eight hundred dollar okay this is a their uh, their salaries okay if we would like to find the x bar uh, i mean about the mean we can sum up all of them and divide them to the to the count okay how many numbers are they okay one thousand five hundred uh, plus uh, two thousand seven hundred Eleven thousand two hundred. If we divide them to the five, we will have here what two thousand two hundred forty. Yeah, two, we we obtain two thousand two hundred forty. This is you know mean two thousand two hundred forty. Okay, this is dollar. This is average salary of this five person. Okay, imagine that someone uh, goes, you know. Uh, you know, decided to go from here and another one okay this is a x6 uh, you know come to this uh, come to this room okay after this we see that the x bar changed okay x bar changed x bar the new x bar okay this new one is equal to 5 billion okay 5 billion okay what happens to this data what happens we 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 just have a you know five person and uh, for this five person we have persons we have a uh, average average salary is a two thousand two hundred forty dollar but what happened with this you know x3 you know goes up goes uh, and uh, x6 uh, goes into this room and the average value of the of these people why because this six this person is a jeff okay jeff basis okay jeff basis okay jeffrey basis i don't know maybe a jeffrey basis okay basis a uh, jeff basis and therefore after this person's coming our uh, average salary is uh, kind of change extremely change and therefore we always say the extreme value always affect what affects our affects our uh, mean arithmetic mean okay to sum up our uh, you know, example we have uh, as you see we have a, a you know five numbers here 11 12 30 40 50 uh, here we have a mean 13 we take all these numbers you know some of them and divide by, uh, by five we will have a 65 divided by five is we have here a 13 and here uh, the things is changed uh, for instance we take the 15 and change it to the 20 and here the data is changed and extreme value is entered uh, to this uh, data and this data the central point the sending tendency as a mean uh, change 14 because this, this extreme value uh, extreme value affects our uh, our data okay uh, next one next central tendency is a median median this is an it ordered uh, right the median is a middle number uh, it's a kind of it's in a like a place a 50 person uh, 50 percent of the data above the mean and the median and 50 persons of the data below the median okay for instance we have the five data here 11 12 30 40 15 uh, 13 14 15 and the uh, you know median is a 13 because it's the it's state it stands in the you know middle point it's a middle data and uh, what kind of data you know not affected uh, by extreme value because we have a five data and uh, imagine that we take uh, this one you know 15 and uh, change it you know with the 20 and again the extreme value uh, doesn't affect our data because 13 is the median and it's stayed in, in its point in its place and uh, here we have it too uh, you know uh, kind of uh, a 
approach. Uh, the first one, uh, we have a uh, odd numbers, odd odd number of data, and uh, second one, it, we have a uh, you know even numbers of data. If we have a uh, odd numbers data, it is very easy. Central uh, point we always take in, uh, in into account as the uh, median. The location of the median when the value are in a numerical order, smallest to largest. Okay, for instance, if you'd like to know about the data, if it if data uh, is let me check it here. Okay. You know, right in here for instance uh, if our data is uh, you know we have a seven data if we would like to say n is equal to seven if we would like to find the mean uh, median it's very easy n plus uh, one divided by two in our case seven plus one divided by two is will it will be four uh, the place if we arrange the data and then the one two three uh, four, five, six, seven. And the central point is, uh, you know, median is here. But uh, imagine that we have uh, eight data. What we do at that point? Uh, what we do at that time? You know, eight plus one is a nine. Okay. Uh, divide by two, it will be four point five. Okay. We will. Uh, we take this. Uh, this one. Okay. Four and five. Okay. Let me show you here. Okay. Okay. We have a data one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have a eight data. We take fourth data and fifth data, you know, plus them and divide by two. This is our mean. Uh, it will be our mean. Okay, let me you know, erase all of them. Okay, in this case, if the number of the value is odd, the median is the middle number. If the number of the value is even, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. Uh, notation we had, note that the n plus 1 divided by 2 is not the value of the mean, only the position of the mean is ranked data. Okay, let's look at the example. For instance, if you have a data kind of x and the numbers is a, you know, 3, uh, 2. This data we have, and this number of data one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a number of data is a seven, and this is the old one. Okay, firstly, what we should do the first one we uh, rank them. Okay, the firstly start with a little. Okay, we sort them. Okay, the first one is a two, and second one is a three. Okay, we sorting them. Okay, three, and the third one is the five. Okay. <laughs> We sort the data and then look at the uh, you know central tendency the mean. Here we have a seven plus one is a eight, eight divided by two is a four, and the central tendency and mean is a median is a six. Okay, but uh, if we have uh, kind of data, let me show you the nether one. Another example. I am going to uh, erase all of them here. Okay, this one as well. Okay, we have uh, twenty three. And we have a kind of one okay then you know this is uh, the data uh, number is here eight okay n is equal to eight we again take them and arrange them okay rank them okay one two and then eight data and eight plus one is a nine nine divided by two is a two four point five and four and five the data we taking a fourth one and the fifth one okay let me show you you know fourth one and fifth one this two data we take in account okay what we do at that time you know uh, five take plus six and divide by two uh, it will be you know five point five this is our median okay okay let's look at the another central tendency this is a mode uh, this is a value that occurs most often not affected by extreme values used for you know not affected by extreme values it doesn't matter extreme value which one okay for instance uh, we have a one two three four and a million and million is extreme value but anyone any anyway this extreme value doesn't affect our data for either numerical or categorical nominal data for instance we have a categorical nominal data the grades you know a b c d e uh, this is the grades we have and the central tendency we cannot find that for instance we have you know two a and others uh, are b single single data we have single grades we have and a uh, you know occurs more often and therefore we say that the mode is a the mode of this data is a and the mode also can be you know 
for instance, we can say about the model, okay, the, the, the things that the, the, this, you know, cause the even the fashion, okay, for instance, the most uh, common fashion for the people in the in the world right now, this is a mode, okay, mode, okay. And also, there may be no modes, for instance, we have data and the single data, so we, we have uh, no mode there, okay, and there will be the several modes as well. We have a mode here because, uh, you know, the most frequent data is 9, 9, uh, frequency is a 3 times, 3 times is a 9 here, but 5 is 2 times and 12 is a two times if we would like to change uh, let me show you here a little example okay if we add here you know for instance another five okay kind of you know hole here another one it will be two mode okay you know five and nine will be two modes okay kind of we have a sometimes we have a kind of data and here we have no mode because uh, every single data occurs one time so let's sum up uh, our learning with a review example for instance we have a uh, five prices here house prices okay let's look at them uh, the first uh, the first one is uh, you know two million is the first house price the second one is five hundred thousand third one is three hundred thousand uh, fourth and fifth one is a hundred thousand dollars okay if we take all of them uh, and uh, would like to measure the same mean uh, we sum up all of them this is three million and uh, divide by five because we have a uh, five houses are here all of them and divide by five will uh, obtain the six hundred thousand this is a mean and if you would like to find the median, median is the central point, is 300,000. But if you look at the data, uh, in the data we have, uh, you know, most common, most, uh, you know, frequent data is uh, 100,000. It, it, it happens two times, and therefore we take this uh, this data at the, uh, as a frequent value, as a mode. Which measures to choose? The mean is generally used unless extreme values outlier exist. If we have a data and in this data we have the outliers, uh, if we like to make you know most clear you know examples of our data, most uh, clear uh, you know kind of focus our data, we should you know take all the outlier outliers out of the data and then uh, try to measure the mean. And the median is often used since the median is not sensitive to extreme value. Okay, if we don't. You you know, take into account the extreme value, we'd like to keep them in our data and we can uh, easily measure the median for us, okay? Because the extreme value doesn't affect our mean, median. Okay, for example, median home price may be reported for a region, it is less sensitive to outlier, for instance, median home prices, we can say. In some situations, it takes sense to report both the mean and median. We have a three channel tendency, arithmetic mean, and I show how to measure them. Okay, median we have, this is a median value in order uh, a, a array and we have the mode modes the most frequently observed value these three measurements is a central tennis measurement and so this is central points of the data thank you guys for your attention and uh, thank you for watching please if you would like to know new lessons uh, know about the new lesson and uh, be aware about the new lessons please subscribe to our channel like our channel and uh, keep going learning statistics thank you very much bye bye